I'm Nicole Rodriguez, and I am the SOAR teacher at Bonham Elementary. I was born in Petersburg, Virginia, but I've been living in Bryan for about 30 years. And I attended Bryan High School. I went to Blinn College and I earned my associate's degree there, and I went on to Sam Houston State University and received my Bachelor of Science. I've been married to my junior high sweetheart for 30 years. We have two beautiful children, three wonderful grandchildren. I like camping, reading. I also enjoy baking and spending time with my grandkids. Well, it was back when I worked at Sol Ross Elementary. I was the behavior specialist there, and colleagues would often tell me, you work so well with the kids, and you can adjust to many um, different uh, situations. And so at that point, I really wasn't thinking, ah, I'm gonna be a teacher. But later, it was just kind of pushed in a positive way to become a teacher. I had the opportunity to go in classrooms and watch other teachers, and I wanted to do the same thing. Okay, so what inspires me to come to my SOAR classroom every day is just to know that I'm able to help shape minds and help children work through issues and give them skills that will help them later in life. So I use a lot of capturing kids' hearts. Capturing kids' hearts is really about building relationships with your students, um, and they're more willing to work with you because I'm making an honest effort to get to know them. And I use Boys Town and I'm just very consistent with rules, expectations, and I set those, I teach those, and I'm consistent with it. Well, when a teacher is approached with a student that has behavior issues, first can it get to know that kid, and sometimes they'll tell you, well, what makes you angry? What doesn't make you angry? And try to learn those triggers to better help the student. I've come in contact with many students who have ODD, emotional disorders, behavior disorders, and so I just take it case by case, child by child, and I do, you know, what works for one may not work for the other. So the biggest is just being consistent. In the end of the day, these are students, and we, we want them to be successful. And it's our job, it's my job, it's the principal, everyone involved. It's their job to work together to give our students the best future they can have. Hi, I'm Sharon Navu. I am the intermediate DAP teacher. I teach fifth and sixth grade at MC Harris. I was born in Houston. We moved to Bryan when I was three years old. I went to Bryan High, then I transferred to ACE, which is now currently MC Harris. Um, this is my 10th year teaching. I've taught elementary, fourth and fifth grade, all subjects, um, seventh grade reading and writing, and high school special education. So our program is very structured. Um, we have a set routine every day. The students are mostly focused on their academics and completing their work from their home campuses. Um, we do social skills throughout the week. What we focus on is not about changing situations because sometimes that's beyond your control. What we focus on is how can you change yourself? How can you change your thinking, your response, and empower yourself to make better decisions and to think things through a little bit better. Sometimes students will make a bad choice and then they let it ruin their entire day They'll continue making bad choices and so what my goal is is to sort of challenge that thinking and you know focus on it's okay if you make a mistake how can we regroup from that how can we you know recognize and own that behavior and then make a better choice and so I'm able to just have open honest conversations with all of my students either as a group or individually and through that I get to know them really well I get to know their situations their backgrounds, what they're dealing with, and so it just allows me the opportunity to try to hone in and figure out what exactly, what tools do they need, how can I help them, how can I make them a better person. Um, I feel like that is my job and I find it just absolutely rewarding and challenging and I, I, I love it. it's the best part of my day. I'm a mom, I have three sons, my oldest son uh, has autism, so I understand even just having different um, disabilities and challenges and so I think all that has led me to this position where I have a lot to offer the students. If every day I go home feeling like I've made a difference, I made somebody more aware, I made their life a little bit better, then, then I'm happy. Um, nobody's classroom is perfect, but even in DAP, if I have a student that is really struggling, um, I literally will pull them out in the hallway and what I say to them is, I am for you. I'm always rooting for you. I'm not against you. 
anything I've asked you to do, anything I'm telling you, it is for your, for your good. It's to help you. And I've noticed that immediately the students always respond with that. I mean, I've had students completely do a 180 after I've said that to them. So when they realize, wow, she really is here to help me, we usually have a great relationship after that. So that's always kind of, sort of my motto is I am for you. I'm always for you. I feel very blessed to be in this position where I can work with students directly to help them grow and become better versions of themselves.